What's up, guys? Well, damn. Um, that main event was awesome, man. Whatever you hear about uh, Lowball versus Jason Knight, uh, believe the hype. This shit was real. This shit really happened. Uh, you know, hell, Dana White in the UFC ought to be looking at that fight and saying, kicking themselves in the ass, saying, damn, why we didn't make this shit in the UFC? <laughs> Uh, look, man, Artem Lobov won that fight. Uh, there's no controversy. He clearly won that fight. And I wanted him to win that fight, hell. Uh, Jason Knight, uh, at the beginning of the fight, he got a knockdown on Artem. I was thinking, like, oh, man. Artem talked all this shit about his Russian hammers and the fight with him and Pauly. And, you know, uh, he getting knocked down at the beginning of the fight. I'm like, man, no tell him it's going to go like this. Then Artem gets up, man. That was that basically woke him up. All right, he was putting on a kind of a clinic with Jason Jason Knight, man. He was the boxer in the fight. He was the guy with the better hands in the fight. Bottom line, that's why he won the fight. Um, he had uh, the better power and the better boxing skills. He was countering the hell out of Jason Knight, pretty much, uh, definitely the first three rounds while he still had gas, you know. I mean, Jason Knight would throw, he would step back, he would wait, he would move, and he would catch him and counter him, man. And he would hurt Jason Knight. He ended up getting a knockdown on Jason Knight. And in my opinion, he got a second knockdown on Jason Knight right before the first round ended. But uh, Mergliata did not call it. He called it a slip. So the first round officially uh, should have been even. Now, uh, I think Artem won that round personally because I thought he got a, a second knockdown uh, in that round. All right, the second and third round uh, clearly, obviously, was for um, Artem. Uh, they said he got knocked down in the um, in the second and the third. Uh, I remember him getting one, I believe, in the third. Uh, which yeah, I can't really remember him because the action was, you know, it was so, you know, it was so drama filled. But um, uh, at the end of the second round, they were just, I mean, going back and forth, throwing, you know, wailing on each other, man. <laughs> You know, left, right, left, right. They just going at it. You know, like a, just a street brawl. You know, it was it was awesome. Um, and let's see, uh, what happened? Um, uh, that was the second round. Uh, I thought Artem, like I said, I thought he won the second and third round. Um, the fourth and the fifth. Look, the fourth and the fifth. Uh, I I give those to Jason Knight. Uh, he. He landed a significant shot on Artem. Artem started to gas uh, in the fourth. Uh, basically, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, uh, criticizing Artem because look, Artem was throwing the kitchen sink at Jason Knight. Man, he was trying to finish Jason Knight. He was, you know, landing power shots on the guy. He was knocking the guy down. He was outboxing the guy. I mean, but Jason Knight, even though he was going down and, and getting cut up, bruised up, bloodied up badly, you know, I mean. Artem had him messed up before the end of the first round. Had him messed up bad. You know, so he was beating the hell out of this guy. Had him looking bad. But Jason Knight stayed in the fight. You know, he was a tough guy. Uh, kept getting up. Uh, stayed, stayed on his feet, you know. He, he did not, you know, lay down and quit. Like some people did early in the night. Uh, but, um... I give him the fourth round, Jason Knight, because he landed a significant shot that hurt Artem. And I was like, oh, no, I'm like, you know, hold on, Artem, you know, don't don't go down. You know, he survived the round. Then the fifth round, he he definitely was out of gas, man. You know, he could he could barely throw anything. Uh, he he was he, he held on a little bit to survive. Um, and Jason Knight closed well, and he won that round. So I give Jason Knight, uh, what, two ten nine 9 rounds, uh, I believe. And then... Uh, you would have to give, I think Artem would have got a 10-8 in both the second and third, you know, um, and that, that should give him the victory. I don't know what the, uh, you know, what that official score would be. I did not write it down to keep a, you know, a tally because I was just into the fight, man, and joined it as a fan, like I said. But, uh, you know, that main event was awesome, man, and, you know, this is set, set up the Artem versus uh, Pauly fight. You know, which is what uh, I want to see, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people want to see. 
this is the closest thing that we can get to uh, Paulie versus McGregor without uh, actually getting it. I'm 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 pretty sure Conor will probably be at that fight, uh, which would be great. And um, you know, hey, Artem got a shot at winning that fight, man. Uh, you know, this bare knuckle uh, fighting. Look, you hit somebody with your bare knuckles, man. That shit ain't the same as getting hit with boxing gloves, man. And Paulie Malignaggi uh, swells up, cuts easily, you know. And the guy's old now. And he's been inactive. You know, last time we saw him, he got stopped by Sam Eggington, of all people. So, um, you know, and, and Artem is uh, 26. And Paulie's got to be hell early to mid forties for sure, you know. Um you know, he's not gonna be prime Paulie Malinaji, man. And uh you're a forty something year old fighting twenty something year old and this guy, you know, I Arden used to always go on about his Russian hammers, his power, all this and that. I never really saw it, man, but tonight I saw it, man. I saw uh you know, I saw his boxing ability. I saw what he can do when he hits somebody with his hands, with his with his bare knuckles. You know, he was cutting Jason Knight up, man. Uh, you know, knocking the guy down, blooding the guy. And if he's hitting Paulie like that, the same thing is going to happen, man. You know, uh, even if Paul does not go down, which I doubt he won't, but uh, he will get cut up, bruised up, blooded up bad. So uh, if I can bet on that fight, I will put money on Artem to win that fight. Uh, not sure who will be the underdog in that fight. I'm hoping Artem would be if, if I can bet on it. But um, I can't wait for that fight. I will buy that fight. You know, thirty dollars for uh for this main event plus the fights that were good, it it was worth it. Um, and for the uh the duds, hell, you know I I could you know what I saw with the free prelims, you know help make help make up for that. There were two duds in my opinion, uh, and then there was one prelim uh well not prelim but the, the fight before the main event the filler fight. You know, there was one fight that uh that I didn't care about. I you know, I didn't even really watch the first round. I just kinda was doing my own thing. Um uh, so two duds and one uh filler fight that I didn't care about. Uh, you know, take those three out, put the two prelims in that were good, and um uh, overall it was a good night. You know, for thirty bucks, you can't complain, man. Especially for that main event. You know, that that, that main event, um that main event was awesome, man. That that was a fun, fun fight. Uh and I would think anybody who saw this would definitely buy the um Artem Pauli Malinaji fight. So I think that's it guys. This was uh I'm I'm glad this event happened. I'm glad I bought it. I don't regret it at all. They made a fan. Uh they put it on a perfect night. There was no significant boxing fight. There was no UFC on. And um this was a, a great night to watch something new, something different. And um, I feel like I got my money's worth, man. For 30 bucks, I'm not complaining, especially for that main event, uh, which definitely was the fight of the night. A full five rounds of just action, blood and guts. Uh, there were times when uh, Jason Knight was getting hit and you would see things flying in the air. It, Antonio Tarver thought it was teeth. Uh, they said it probably was Vaseline. You know, it was crazy, man. It was it was crazy. It was great. Uh, you know, if you can if you can watch that fight at some point, I highly encourage you to do so. If you are a fight fan, you will like that shit, man. This shit is uh bloody and brutal. Hitting with bare knuckles, man. It's you know, it's it's uh it's seeing it's seemingly a lot more violent, you know, because they get cut up and hurt a lot easier and quicker than with uh big boxing gloves on, so you know, that's it, guys. Um, it was great. If you saw it, let me know what you think. And uh, can't wait for Artem and Pauly. And uh, I will check in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.